Hello and welcome to the second episode in this series looking at the Doctor Who ratings and providing some analysis for those numbers. So in this episode I'm going to look specifically at series 14, series 1, season 40, the 2024 series of Doctor Who that's just broadcast on BBC One and the iPlayer and I'm going to look specifically at the overnight ratings. Now in the first video, uh, if you've not watched it, please go back and give it a watch. Um, in that video I spoke specifically about the plus seven ratings now the plus seven is a combination of those who watched it overnight as live on transmission and all the viewers that watched it uh in doctor who's case before bbc one transmission and after transmission over a period of seven days so in this video i'm going to look specifically at the overnight numbers so that transmission number so to explain, in the UK, our overnight rating is the number of television sets and therefore the number of viewers who are watching any particular programme as it is transmitted live. So in Doctor Who's case, how many people are sitting down around six, seven o'clock on a Saturday evening and their television is tuned in to BBC One to watch that episode of Doctor Who? Now, you've probably seen lots of commentary about the overnight numbers and Doctor Who, unlike most shows, uh, generates quite a lot of uh, traffic and conversation about the overnight figures and the number of people that are sitting down and watching the program. Um, in the classic era of the show, from 1963 to 1989, all you had was the overnight number, so the transmission number you had. Uh, how many people were sitting and watching that episode of Doctor Who as it was being broadcast. Now, of course, with uh, modern technologies, catch-up services, the BBC iPlayer, etc., uh, that overnight number is less relevant, but as I'll show later on in this video, it's still absolutely massive for your overall viewership. And for me, the overnight number is a good reflection of how engaged the audience is because they have to watch it as it's being broadcast. Now, in the UK in particular, the uh, programmes on the television that generate the most audiences, the biggest audiences, are event television, live sport, live cultural events, things of that nature, because those are can't-miss events that people have to see. And drama can occasionally reach very high numbers. We saw earlier in 2024 the Mr. Bates versus the Post Office series on ITV. That got close to, ten, you know, around 10 million viewers across uh, the four episodes. That was can't miss television because that has since gone on and uh, changed uh, government policies and, and it's generated a lot of conversation about that particular injustice. So drama can reach big numbers because drama can be one of those things that everyone talks about the next day. Unfortunately, as we'll see, Doctor Who is not at that level as it used to be. So let's talk specifically about our overnight numbers for this series. So we started with Space Babies and that got an initial overnight rating of 2.55 million. So just over two and a half million people tuned into BBC One as Space Babies was transmitted. Unfortunately, the show lost about 130,000 people who decided that the series of Doctor Who was not for them, and the Devil's Chord saw a drop in the number to 2.42 million viewers. The following week, week two, with the third episode, it dropped even further to 2.04 million viewers. Happily, it picked back up again, and 73 Yards got an overnight rating of 2.62 million viewers. But then we go back into a slide, it loses half a million viewers between uh, 73 yards and Dot and Bubble. Dot and Bubble getting 2.12 million. Rogue, pretty consistent, 2.11 million. And then we reach our lowest of the series with only 2.02 million viewers tuning in on the night to watch the BBC One transmission of The Legend of Ruby Sunday. Fortunately, there's a bit of an uptick and The Empire of Death, the series finale, gets a slightly better rating at 2.25 million viewers watching live on BBC One. So this graph just demonstrates uh, the trajectory across the series. So we start with a strong 2.55, 2.55, 2.55, 2.55, 2.55, 2.55, 2.55, 2.55, 2.55, 2.55, 2.55, 2.55, 2.55, 2.55, 2.55, 2.55, 2.55,
dropping down before 73 yards, uh, sees an uptick, a bit of consistency between Dot and Bubble and Rogue, but then dropping down for our lowest, The Legend of Ruby Sunday, and then picking back up again for the series finale. Now, this graph is a list of the lowest overnight ratings, lowest transmission ratings. So this is the bottom 10 for uh, viewership as live broadcast on BBC One across all of Doctor Who, 61 years of Doctor Who. And unfortunately, that Legend of Ruby Sunday penultimate episode of the series is rock bottom at 2.02 with boom just slightly higher at 2.04. And you can see eight of the top of the top 10, in this case, the lowest 10 uh, in terms of all on transmission viewership all comes from this series. So not a great place the series finds itself. What's also relevant uh, in this context, and we'll talk a little bit about this in another video, um, is the overnight share. So the overnight share, to explain, is of all the televisions in the UK that are currently switched on, what percentage of that possible audience is tuning in to Doctor Who? Now, the church on Ruby Road, Christmas, uh, Christmas Day 2023, got an overnight share of 33.4%, which is pretty decent so over a th about a third of all the televisions in the UK had BBC One on and were watching Doctor Who. Now for this series you can see again the trend kind of follows our viewership trend so our overnight rating trend so we had a strong start a quarter 25% of uh, the available audience watching Doctor Who but that deteriorates as we go through the season picks back up again for 73 yards and continuing that trend downwards for the Legend of Ruby Sunday being our lowest at 16.2% recovering slightly then for Empire of Death so uh, this trend line basically follows the pattern of the series so our available audience watching Doctor Who has varied across the series from a high of 25.7% to a low of 16.2%. And this is just another uh, representation of these numbers. So the blue blocks at the bottom are our overnight ratings, as we've discussed. And we mentioned in the previous video uh, our plus seven. So that additional audience either watching the episode before it's transmitted on BBC One, after it's transmitted on BBC One via the iPlayer or um, record um, uh, streaming service something of that nature so you can see that once again the overnight rating is significant and it is slightly larger so to take space babies and the devil's cord as examples so the blue chunk is the overnight number so with space babies and the devil's cord our purple blocks are the plus 28 numbers which we'll talk about in a future video and our green section is the overnight to plus seven so you can see that the purple section is fairly minor in comparison to green and both are dwarfed by the blue section our overnight number is still the significant section still the significant number within the context of our plus sevens and our plus 28s so the bulk of Doctor Who's audience is made up of those people that are watching it live on BBC One. This is what the numbers say. So this idea that people present that, oh, everyone's watching on BBC iPlayer now, nobody uses uh, terrestri you know, terrestrial channels and nobody watches programs as live anymore. This isn't borne out by the numbers, in my opinion. The overnight number is still the most dominant figure. And until the, this uh, pie chart changes, that argument holds no weight for me. The overnight number and drawing people into watch your program as live on BBC One when it is transmitted still should remain the priority. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed that brief introduction into the overnight ratings for Series 1, Series 14, Season 40, whatever you want to call it. Hopefully that's uh, given you a little bit uh, more of an understanding about uh, where the overnight numbers come from, why they're relevant, and as we go forward and do some more analysis about these numbers and compare your overnight numbers to other eras 
of Doctor Who's history. This will all start to uh, put in context, really, where Doctor Who is at the moment. If you like the video, please uh, give it a thumbs up. Please share. Please subscribe to the channel if you guys have any suggestions about uh, particular areas of analysis you want to see. Then feel free to comment and I will see you next time for some more Doctor Who ratings analysis. Thank you for watching.